Hello and welcome to What's in My Pack, where we talk about what you need to have in your pack before that next outdoor adventure. Hi, I'm Josiah Wade with the Ohio Department of Natural Resources. Today we're talking about fossil collecting and we have geologist and paleontologist Molly Hunt from our Division of Geological Survey. Thanks for joining us, Molly. Hey, thanks for having me. Super excited to talk about some crazy cool fossils. Well, fossils are a fun thing and they're, they're found throughout all of Ohio and uh, we're actually at one of the more popular fossil collecting sites in Ohio, Caesar Creek State Park. And while fossil collecting can be fun and educational for people of all ages, I know it's also important to be aware of some rules and regulations in addition to the many things you might want to take with you in your pack before you head out. Exactly. A good rule of thumb is always to have a hard hat and a safety vest. You might not always need these items, but a lot of fossils are found in cliffs of rocks and you certainly don't want rocks falling on your head. Right, right. Along with that, you're probably going to always want sunscreen or bug spray, sure. water. You want to make sure you're taking care of yourself while you're finding fossils. And then some of the other items that I always make sure I have is gloves because rocks can be really rough. They can cut you up. So if you have, you know, the gloves, that also means you probably are going to start using some tools. Now, not every place in Ohio lets you use tools. Okay. But if you have permission, you definitely want to have a rock hammer and some chisels that helps you take out some of those smaller fossils out of the really large rocks. Because there are even some places that don't let you take large rocks. They want you to take ones that are about the size of your hands. Mm -hmm. So that definitely helps when you find something really unique um, that you want to take, but you can't take a really large rock. And of course, if you're using hammers, you want to make sure you have your safety glasses on. Yeah, so yeah. we always want to stay safe. Additionally, along that whole safety guideline, it's probably always smart to have a cell phone. A, so you can call if there's an emergency, and B, so you can take cool pictures. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's kind of a twofold, but also it might help you if you ever need to figure out where you are and you get a little lost. Okay. So while you're collecting, it's really important that you write down and keep a detailed record of what you're doing. So I've got a really cool notebook here called a write in the rain. Mm -hmm. So this actually lets you write while it's raining. Really? And then while you're collecting, it's always good to have some bags or boxes to take your specimens home. Okay. And that's where, if you keep some labels on you, you can write down again exactly where you were and what you found, so that if you ever find something that's really amazing that you want a paleontologist to look at, the first thing we're probably gonna ask you is, where'd you find it? Yeah, yeah. And you have that information right there. That's really important. Now, when you get it home, there's really great resources out there like the Fossils of Ohio book that you can help to fully identify what you find. Uh -huh. And really, fossils are really cool, but if you don't know what they are, they're kind of useless. Now, where does a person get this book from? The easiest way is to get it right through us at ODNR on our Shopify website. Okay. So some other things you might want to consider while you are out fossil collecting is having some geologic maps. So these will help tell us what the age of the rocks are that we're looking at. So right now we're in the Ordovician time period, so we know we're gonna be finding fossils of sea creatures. Okay. And you can see we've got some really cool sea creatures right here. Some other things you wanna think about, some places in Ohio require you to have a permit to collect. Right, and Caesar Creek is one of those locations where you have to have a permit. First. Absolutely, and it's a free permit. You just wanna make sure they wanna know you're here. Some other things you wanna think about is you still wanna have a first aid kit. Like I said, rocks can scrape you up. Then some other things to think about while you're collecting is maybe having what we call a geologist's hand lens. So this is a magnifying glass. Okay. It's really helpful because you might notice like in this rock in particular, there's a lot of really small fossils mm -hmm. that you probably wouldn't be able to see with just your eye. And right there is actually an outline of our state invertebrate fossil. Wow. Yeah, which wouldn't be very easy to see. Some other things I like to keep on me is always a camera, which you can use a cell phone if you don't have an actual camera, and a scale bar. So when we take photos of fossils, we want to have some sense of scale so we know how big they are. Right, right. Some other things I like to take of is always a good backpack that's always sturdy and can carry all of my supplies. Mm -hmm. Then also I want to make sure I have some water and a toothbrush or maybe a towel to clean off those fossils so you can see them a little bit better. And then the last thing that I always make sure I have is some kind of padding. So I'm well known if I will just lay fully on the ground looking at fossils, uh -huh. and that can get a little uncomfortable. So I like to bring a yoga mat or a knee pad. Learn more about fossil collecting in Ohio and what you need in your pack before that next outdoor adventure at ohiodnr.gov. Have fun, be adventurous, most importantly, be safe out there. We'll see you next time for What's in My Pack. <laughs>